Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back, Gunners. Oof. It's been a rough day already. This time change is really weird. But uh, we're getting used to it. I got here at like 6.30. The hour thing is... Whatever. I think you guys are all going through the same thing. You're waking up extra early like, Oh man, I can get one more hour of sleep. Nah, I can get one more hour of work. It's a fact. So... Today we are installing our RTAs and boy are we in for a lot of work. I did one side, almost took me a full day. So I pretty much practiced on the passenger rear pause and I said, you know what? Now I have the right information. I know all the torque specs. I know how to install some of this hone stuff. Let's do the vlog. So in this vlog, you are going to learn a lot of information. We are using EP3 calipers or base model RSX caliper and rotor. Um, has to get flipped, but we're not going to flip it because we're going to have an e Whatever. We're going to learn a lot. Smash that like button. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you enjoy all this informative information, spread the word about the channel. I'd appreciate that. I'm ready to work. Are you? Let's start gunning. All right, guys. All right, guys. Okay, boys. You are not yanking all the way and trying to dump the back. That's it, man. Jeff is going up the car. This is his crew. Trappy's having get breakfast. Right here. Get this stance right here. Trappy's having yeah. breakfast. Yeah, get this stance right here. That's when you got a fast car and you're at the parking lot. That's how you. This, this how you wait. That's how. Me. That's how dudes uh, stand at cars and coffee. Yeah, that's how waiting for waiting for for a race, waiting for a, for a sixty year old. Like Not that. even. No, nah, they just waiting for someone to ask him about the car. Yeah, yeah. And this, then they go. And, and then they, no, oh, somebody this? somebody will walk up to him and be like, "This your car?" Yeah, and they go. Oh, this. Oh yeah. no, this car. Oh, my seat. Yeah. Yeah, I, we're uh, talking about that car. Yeah. We got one side on, Gunners. Again, we're using RSX base model rear rotor, rear caliper, rear pads. Uh, centering kit here from Honed. You've got your PCI rear camber. No, it's not camber. Trailer arm. Honed uh, rear camber. Toe adjuster Honed. Trap, that Honed stuff... Second to none, trap. I ain't gonna hold you, Trap. I'm so glad I made the call. I'm yeah. so glad I made the decision on buying this stuff, Trap. Yeah, parts are awesome, bro. Guys, I got I got a small YouTuber discount. I'm not pr I'm not praising this company because anything was free. I appreciate everything they've done for me, but this hone stuff literally is second to none. Look how this functions. Look how smooth this transition is. Look at that. Frictionless. You can Friction. See, like that, that. Frictionless. This PCI stuff, same thing. Yeah. This you can really see it working by how the arm just moves. They never move like that. No. Like when they're like up here. No. They have. They're limited. That, yep. That's that's amazing. Yep. Bro. So Good basically, job. that it basically just heightens the trailer arm. Yeah, for more travel, like we did to the front with the ball joint. Exactly. It's basically, yep. same thing. We're just adding more travel, more height to the geometry of this Honda Civic, this particular one. So they do these kits for EG, EKs, EFs, DCs, and so on and so forth. But we've got to, we've got to show you how to correctly install this right here. This is not a walk in the park, Gunners. Don't take this lightly. You must take your time. Okay, so roll center kit. Let's see, rear roll center bracket. So basically we are changing, again, the geometry of the vehicle. We are raising this to have more travel up and down. So in order for that to happen, we have to basically just clean up a little things here on the trailer arm. 
because I don't know if you could zoom in there, Trap. Check that out. You see why that doesn't line up in here? Hold on. Yeah, right about there, Trap. That's as best as going to happen. There. That's because we have to notch here. Back up a little bit. Right. We have to notch here. So I have to bring this down so this can bolt up on both sides and then we can drill. We can tap and drill right here to put our <coughs> our other provided bolts in. So again, this is very easy, but you should just definitely take your time. You know, this is important. So your lower control arm would usually go here. Now it's going to go here. Exactly. So just so it's not like super complicated with, you know, the you're, you're, you're talking geometry here. You know what I mean? Okay. That's perfect example. Your old LCA bolts to here. Now it's going to bolt to here. So we're basically just raising the rear trailer on. Hence, like the spacers on the ball joints. Exactly. Right, let's work. Before we start, basically this lip right here has to get shaved down on both sides. I'm going to make this flat nice and clean so that this bracket can just go on smoothly. I know we got YouTube police out there. Yeah, you got no OSHA's out there. <laughs> Okay, rough cut, it's right there, see that, getting closer to where we can put our nut and bolt in, to here. So I just got to do the other side so the bracket can come down more. So um, what, uh, what ho I found out how to do this on um, Home Development's uh, YouTube page. What they recommend is... <laughs> what they recommend is three millimeters off of right here. So I just got to do this part, get these two to line up with the bracket, put our nuts and bolts in, torque that down to 54 pounds, and we'll move on. About three three millimeters, right? Let's see how good I am. It's got a excess lip from the cutting. Not too shabby. See now it's it's touching here. Mm -hmm. So that needs to go down a little bit more. Now this will be able to sit under that lip, but I could see that my bolt is not going to line up. So for argument's sakes, I'll just go through here. See that? I can't go down yet. But here, I can. Mm -hmm. So I just need to go down a little bit more so that this side can go down. Yeah, because it goes down even. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
this? Yep. Just two of them. Just two of them in there. Okay. Argument sakes. Money. Argument sakes. Money. Nailed it. That's a nailed it. So I'll just take some, um, I'll swap the disc. I'll put a sander on there and check this out. Right? I'm going to get rid of all that nasty. See that? But we'll do it nice and neat with a clean sanding disc, like the 120 grit. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Then we'll move on to punching and then making a new hole for this guy that, that accepts this bolt and washer. Which is like an extra support. That's it, yep. Those boys are good. Cleaned up. Okay, now remember this when you're installing this kit. So before I drill this hole, I want to tighten and snug up both sides. I'm not going to go to the 54 pounds. I'm just going to do it by hand, you know, put a little yank on it. The hex key goes inside, not outside. So you go from in here, right? You hold that there. Can you see? Just tighten that there for a second. You take your next one, move it through there. You see how it's starting to center it? Pause. See how it's starting to center it? Because you don't want it on here. You want it right about there. Yep. So we'll use the nut and bolt to Punch hold it. it. Of it yeah. Exactly. Nice. To hold it in place. So basically, I think it's a six millimeter. Six millimeter. Put that in there. We'll get our 15. Yeah, they're Australian, so they use 15. Uh, Ossie, yeah. Ossie, Ossie! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think they say stuff like that. <laughs> they go, they go to the pisser. I know. I think. Or is that in England? Might be England. Probably both. Probably both. You racist. You racist. Okay, see that? Now I got some tension on it, and I'm able to move it in and out, which is perfect. Pause, because I just want to kind of get it straight. So right about there. So I'm gonna make a punch here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna drill through that, so I can add this. Again, one of our favorite tools in the garage, man. Center punch. Go right in between there. I like to do five, just to make sure I have that indentation. If that's even a word, if I said it right. I know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, no, nah, I got I it. it right. I got it. I get you. So we're just gonna we're gonna just make a pilot hole with this and then use the big guy. Pause. I did pause. Yeah, he paused. I pause. You don't even right, know what I, I just I, I, I did. What you you did. don't I even just, know what I, see, I, see, I just no, did. I see what you did. You know I'm out here killing it. You know I'm out here killing it. I see what you did, and you trying to win an Emmy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you, you know. Travel. I'm thinking about getting some stuff and maybe hanging off one of the beams. I'm getting crazy with this. Oh, you trying to make like a <laughs> yeah. like a rig? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to get like a rig, and and I got like a pulley system going across. So I'm it's I'm talking like this. Motions like this. You see what I'm, I'm saying? When, I'm ready when you are. All right, run it, run it. Run it. No, I, I stopped to say something. <laughs> okay, okay. What are we doing? So YouTube uh, really doesn't like cussing. Yep. So I, I'm going to be brief with this. Remember this clip of the video. I think we're almost at 53,000 subs. This is the best fucking channel on YouTube. That's a fact. Fendi, big Fendi. I, I'll be right back, boys. made my pilot. I'm gonna go step by step here. I like that. Now again, when you're making new holes, pause, you don't want to loose. You don't want you don't want the pilot, you don't want the new hole pause to be loose. <laughs> Nobody likes a loose no, wait. hole. Think about it. That's who really pause, that's not a pause, but who really likes a loose hole?
Pause. That's yo. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> we gotta start questioning these pauses. Eh, don't some men, of them. Some of them. Yeah. Don't men like? Yeah, 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 yeah. And nah, you're right. Don't women like? So we're like some. <laughs> some we don't discriminate over here. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We don't discriminate over here. Me. One shot. Done. Very One shot, Scott. Here we go. You see the way that this is formed? Did you notice? It's the same thing here. So if you are confused, oh man, do I put it this way? No. It goes that way. Same way. Okay? So that's finished. Guess what? We're done. You just learned how to install this kit. Nice and easy. Very simple. A lot of people love to complicate things on YouTube. Again, we need to torque this to 54 pounds. Unfortunately, trying to hold this on the bench and torque it to 54 pounds, it's going to yeah. be a nightmare. Yeah. So we'll save that for on the car. Also, very crucial part. If you notice why I'm leaving this loose, you won't be able to get the 14 into your rear caliper mm -hmm. because this is in the way. So this is going to stay loose. We're done. Let's assemble the rest of this trailer arm, Trappy. That's a beauty. Wow. Big shout out to uh, Jeff. Oh, so I told you guys about Jeff working with Mike at Self Made. Killing it. Picked it up like this. This guy did his own rims the other day. He's powder coating. Reach out to All Motor Jeff. Reach out to Self Made Auto Works, man. Those guys do everything over there now. The most important thing, Trap, in powder coating, I, I've dealt with a lot of powder coating, is they're quick. I've seen people drop stuff, stuff off and just don't get it back for months. Like, they, these guys, they, they don't play. They don't play. Done. Big shout out to Una Fabrications. I mean, there's a whole bunch of people to thank along the way as this build is going, and we're going to keep giving you flowers. Thank you to Home. Thank you to PCI. Thank you to Tri-State, Action Clutch, Elite, Koenig. We love you guys, man. Thank you for supporting the channel. We're working every day for it. Trying to make every, you guys proud, man. Every single day, we're trying to make our sponsors proud. Anyone that believes in us, anyone that helps us, every day, we teach the future of racing, not only to buy your shit, but how to install it. Okay, so our hub is here onto the rear trailer arm. I don't have the torque spec for this. I tried looking, couldn't find it. I even hit up Joe Cerruti. He works for Acura. Um, there is, I don't know if there's a specific uh, torque spec for this. I just, I just basically went and yanked on it, paused by hand. That's in. We have four of these torques that are holding the hub to the trailer arm. These are 47 pounds. So I've got my torque wrench to 47. Trappy, I don't know if you're going to be able to hold 47 or we do it on the car. That's a good number, that 47. That's a good number. That is a good number. Here we go. You ready? Nice. So 47 pounds is the torque 50s inside. And that is basically just mating the rear hub. You ready? Yep. Nice. That's mating the rear hub to the trailer arm. Be very careful doing this. Yeah, those very. heises will strip for no yeah, reason. Yeah, they suck. I don't know why Honda used the torque there. Hold on, Ready? hold on. Let me, let me hold on. Give me a let me get this tripod set up right here. Let me get this right here. I got it. Okay. Last one. That's it. 47 pounds. We're going to be using the torque wrench a lot. We're going to be using it a lot. Okay, so remember I left this guy loose here because that's for the caliper and stuff. But I think we can honestly... So if we hang up the... Um, if we hang up the trailer on, we could just do everything on the car. Yeah. Probably just much easier. You, know, you slap the rotor on, slap the cap. Mm -hmm. Or we could just assemble it here. Probably later. We should probably do it that way. Yeah, we'll do it on the car. Why not? So this is our honed uh, toe adjuster. This thing is awesome. You could literally plus or minus at the track. You just loosen this up, move your teeth, and you can either uh, put camber in or out. So for the most part right now, we just have it at even. Which real quick, is real quick, because they're going to stop you. Toe. 
Toe. He meant toe. Camber? Yeah, he meant toe. Yeah. Everybody's gonna say uh, 842. You meant you meant you meant toe. He meant toe. Y'all know what he meant. So the honed camber. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll keep it running the camber. <laughs> Don't want to tighten it all the way, but you want to kind of get it to right here because you won't be able to put it on onto the chassis. So again, we're just prepping. We're prepping the rear trailer arms to go onto the car. So the next thing I want to show you guys is the rear camber from Honed, the real rear camber. Rear camber, real funky. Real weird. Yeah, super a ball joint here. aggressive yeah. looking. Thing is awesome. Um, so it comes with so many different options as far as shimming and stuff, but that basically gets placed into there. We went with zero. This is like just center because we don't know. We don't know anything about where we're gonna. Yeah, I, I this didn't car. even know that that yeah, would it matter. Comes, come come yeah. this way, trap. It comes with so many different um, options as far as like facing down facing up so i'm just gonna leave it center but i can't oh here goes the shims so it comes with four shims two per side so i'm just gonna put one it's gonna go like this and we're gonna bolt this to the chassis first again we don't know what the hell we're doing we're just installing it we don't I'm know where our adjustments like are gonna be stock one well shim? they say mm -hmm. one shim is plus one i think it's on their website i don't know we'll figure it out It's terrible. Oh no. Yep, better. So, I'm gonna put the shim under here like that. Hone this facing towards you. It actually tells you where to torque these, which would be 29 foot pounds, which is awesome. This company, again, is great. So, I'm just gonna run this here by hand. Leave that shim there, leave that in the center. We'll pick up some specs from them soon. We'll be able to take these out and um, get a plus or a minus. Let me just double check the other side. I make sure I did it right. Yes, I did it right. Okay, so that is 14. I'm not gonna kill this here. Just gonna give it a light touch. That's it. That's it. Good. Right. So that is ready. We're ready to put LCAs on. We're, we're ready to put our trailer arm kit on. So you have your spherical stuff here. We'll just leave that hanging there. Pause. I hate putting these in sometimes. Yeah, it's such a snug fit. Yeah, it's very, very... I'll leave that up there. Uh, for, our, for, for editing sakes, Trap will put the camera down. We'll put this thing up, pause. And we got to take off that um, this strut track. I pray to God I see a truck pull up with our coilovers. I'm praying to God right now. It's gonna show up. I, hope so. I got my toes crossed. I've been waiting this long. Nice and smooth. How's that look? Look from this side. Looks pretty clean. Yeah. So now the reason we have everything up like this is because we're basically gonna start assembling and torquing on the way. So. This here is gonna to go to 134 foot-pounds. That's, don't go any more than that or else this is gonna lock up for your rear hubs. Um, some of the other stuff gets torqued, so on and so forth. But I think, um, I think we should snug up a few of the bolts so we can, we'll be able to yank on this for 134 pounds track. Hundred and thirty four pounds. Hundred and thirty four pounds. A long way to go. You kind of want to keep it moving like that as you're torquing just to make sure nothing binds up. See that? It's rough. Mm -hmm. I know why it's rough. When I was taking off the old race, yeah. I kind of marked the hub. 
Yeah. So I'm just gonna loosen off of it just a little bit. Let's see what happens. See that? Yeah. So now I kind of gotta. Cause well, I, see what it goes up I, to. I, I went. I I went a little too much. Okay. We'll just read it. We'll read it. Ah, see that? Yeah, it was probably like an extra like three pounds. Yeah, that's it. Money, perfect. Still not to my liking, but I think I kind of messed this hub up. But it is what it is. We'll learn. You're going to punch that down into there. You're going to lock that in. Then you're going to get your cover. So you want to kind of make sure you lock that back in. Moving. Rear, uh, rear. So this is torqued, 134 pounds. Everything's functioning. It's moving. We got our rear rotor. This is a base model, 2002 to 2004 RSX base model. So we're gonna just line that up. Get some. Uh, so this is gonna kind of rub right here too. I noticed that on the other side. Yeah, Hear that? Mm -hmm. So I'll just just give it a nice little tap. But I just want to make sure I mark it now. I don't know where you're going to hit. So now it should be right there. You see it? So I'll take a hammer and just ding that in a little bit, and we should have a smooth transition. And from there, we'll put the, the rotor on. We'll put our screws in, and we're finished. The old hammer works again, Trappy. Yeah. Nothing. Smooth, nice. Wow. Again, uh, don't get scared. This is really close to the honed uh, centering kit. Don't get scared, it's fine. So again, I've got these on Amazon. These are great. These are, you know, um, brake rotor screws. So this doesn't float on you and move around. These are always great to have at the garage. Usually people try to get lucky and keep their old ones. It's I hard think to this, save them. I think a bag of 10 was like six bucks. And look how clean that looks. Look how clean that looks. That's it, finished. We're gonna put our boot, our cover over that and um, start getting into, well, I gotta bang into, you know what, keep the camera going. Keep that camera going. I'm gonna take that nice and soft. Just to lock that in. That's it. Just lock it into there so it doesn't move on you. And then put the cover back on. Remember, when you're installing this too, you want to bang on the sides, not the middle. Because it's pretty soft. You're just gonna you're just gonna end up denting this. So sides, you'll feel like solid contact. to go. All right, let's get our caliper on. So now you know why I didn't I didn't torque this down. because you won't be able to get this 14 back into there. So, go like this, grab our 14. I cleaned up the thread, so this should be a smooth transition, but I probably just jinxed myself. I always jinx myself. I always jinx myself. I'm like Larry David. I love jinxing myself. <laughs> Needing a wrench. Yeah, I'm gonna just end up using a 14 wrench there. Get this out of the way. Make life easy. Nice. 
a little bit of work, but you know what? It's gonna come out great. So we're gonna we're gonna use obviously a much better rotor, much better caliper uh, for the rear brakes. Again, a lot of information out there as far as brakes go for like um, circuit racing. They don't really emphasize much on the rear strap. No. They don't really do that. They really concentrate on keeping the fronts cool. Not our coilovers. They concentrate on keeping the fronts cool and big. Pause. I paused. Good pause. We messed up too, Trap. Yeah. We're going to have to drop this LCA down. Oh, uh, we have to torque We have those. to torque that. Yep, that's our fault. Uh, I think I can reach these. I think I can reach these. Nah, I think With I can get to them. Yep, because right. I got a little L, a little L joint. Pause. Okay. okay. Again, um... The only problem with using like a base model RSX or EP3 caliper is that your bleeder is on the bottom and that's not good. So we're going to have to, wait, we're tightening all this strap and how are we going to bleed the brakes? Uh, I, got an, I got an idea. Okay. Because I was going to say, don't we have to take off the rotor and the caliper? No, no, no. I, I, got, I got an idea. Okay, that's tight. And that's tight. Money. So, send big boy back through here. Uh, let me get the Allen. Um, and then we'll get ready to torque. Chop, it's not that hard. Look, if I just take this guy out. Funny. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm just looking for my Allen. I'm just keeping this clip alive. Oh, you going for a six minuter? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I just broke four. I just broke four. Uh, yeah, we need a six millimeter Allen and we need our torque wrench. So we got to set up. All right, try. I don't know what happened with this camera. Uh, it's starting I was to bug out great today. Clip, man. I hope it saved. I hope it saved it. Anyway, guys, 54 pounds here. You hold the hex key with a six mil, 15 millimeter here, um, 54 pounds, and that's it. We're looking like we're looking like something over here, guys. We're starting to come to life. Um, let's get that rear caliper bolted up to their trap, and we should be money. That's it, trap. So wrap on this Let's side. see how this functions. Very smooth. Look at that travel, guys. Look at that. Look at, look at the travel on the inner. Can you get, can you get up in there? Check that out. Beautiful. Pause. Beautiful. Okay, guys. Um, I I want to do something smart here, trap. We have a lot of uh, intelligent subscribers. Guys, give us a suggestion. Whoever can guess what car that is, I'll cash app you $50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess the car. Comment below. So you can hear it. So you can hear Comment it. below. If yeah, you can guess, guess the car, the car yep. $50. Yep. I'll cash app you. Guys, give us a suggestion on how to bleed these brakes the easiest way possible. I want to I want to clean up this garage trap. Yeah, let's pick up. We got to pick up. We got to we got to regroup. We got to get all our tools back. But this stuff is on. We got to add our caliper line. It's a, again trap too. Our caliper lines. I don't know if that's going to be different now. You want to um, grab them real quick? Yeah, Pause. Yeah. They're on the table next to the um, AN hoses. Yep, somewhere around there. Just grab one and let's just see how it's going to go into this part right here. I got better lighting on this caliper too. So, is it banjoed? Yeah, one size, one size banjoed. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so that, it has to go over there. We probably aren't going to get away with this. Uh, no, it's going to work. Oh, uh, we might. Yeah. Perfect. It's going to work. Because our strut is out of the way there. 
little mm -hmm. sketchy, but because it's supposed to go this way, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We. I was thinking like. Nah, I actually like nah nah. I well, does like it work? It, it's going. Wait, does it work the other way though? What? No, it doesn't because you need to lock oh. it in. No, but I, th I think we're good there. I'm not worried oh, about Oh, we that. could probably go through the uh, arm, too. Oh, that'd be nice to yeah, keep it out the way. Yeah, you could probably snake it. Go ahead and keep it out of the way. Keep it out of the way. And then come up, pause. All right, we got to figure that out. Again, comment below what's the easiest way to to bleed um, these calipers. I'm pretty sure you guys got a form or, or a vlog. Share it below. Just routing up the brake line here. Got some okay. nice clamps for it. Well, that's a 12 mil trap. I this don't know. One? If, oh, no, that one's oh, a up there. Yeah, up there is a 10. Yep. I thought you wanted to go there. I don't think we're gonna run e-brake cables, Gunners. I don't think we're gonna run e-brake cables. No, it is. If you really think about it, what are we gonna use an e-brake for? We ain't gonna do a burnout. You know what I mean? To park at the track, just leave it in gear. Or use a wheel chuck. But to run an e-brake cable. Yeah, it's looking a little slim right now. Yeah. It's not looking good for, for the e-brake cable. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> it's not, it's not. E-brake cable is a big inconvenience. Yeah. But yeah, I do want to do a burnout though. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a burnout. Of course, we'll burn. We'll figure it out. Burn daddy. Who might put the e-brake cable on? You got to do a burnout, goddamn. Okay. We're gonna get these uh, these lines all nice and clean. Crispy tens. Got a stash, baby. <laughs> one of the best investments in the garage. I said one of. I know I keep saying, but this bolt organizer, man, I know where everything is. We'll be able to push that up through there. I Have that nice. Better and... if we choose to yeah, run, uh, yeah, no. Cables. Nah, we'll. Uh, if not, I'll. I'll strip the, the grommets from the other ones and use it for that, but you know. Nice and clean, guys. Simple, nice, clean. Everything's working out great. Huge shout out to Finishing Lines, man. That guy makes some badass stuff, bro. Yeah, I love it. I'm so guys. glad for him to, to be involved with this build. And he's helping a lot of gunners, yeah. too, man. Just glad reach we got out you to on him. Board. Yeah, reach out to him. Tell him, hey, man, we're friends of Aki. We need some help, and he'll he'll tighten you up. But wow, you wanna you wanna go over the game plan with everybody on the vlog, like what we should do next? Like let's just sit down. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. We should chop it up. Yeah, let's do it. Trap. What's the plan? All right, so we got coilovers in the mail. It should be. It should be here. Lighting is awful because of that door is open. It's all good though. It should be here today. I think we should I think we should put the coilovers on. Probably get the exhaust mocked up for uh, No, the exhaust is being done tomorrow. Okay. So um Joel's coming by tomorrow. We've got both V bands. We're gonna V band the exhaust on the car. Um, still waiting for those twin 90 16s. Oh we gotta do the We do that. I'm not worried about coolant yet. But this is what I'm thinking. Have Joel do the exhaust tomorrow. I got a sensor from Honda, crank position. We can install that today. Have Joel do the exhaust tomorrow. Turn the car on, on the vlog, so they can finally hear oh, it. Oh, yeah, that's right. They haven't heard it. We'll get to hear how the exhaust sounds. We'll check for any leaks from the exhaust. But we need to take this motor out this car this week. Yeah. We got to swap our trans. We've got to set up. A oh, I got the sway bar from the gunner. It's in the trunk. I got to go get that. We got to set up our sway bar stuff. I need to figure out if we're using spherical end links and which ones are good. I want to kind of nail that out of the way because that's not what we want to deal with while the motor's in the car. But we have to take the motor out by the end of this week. It's Tuesday, Trap. I think this week. So by Thursday, like, the motor has to come out. Yeah, I think we can get the motor out. And if we're going to throw our spare in there. I, I think we should just finish like button up. I think we should make a list and like everything under the hood needs to be done over. Yeah. So when we take out the motor trappy, like I want to recheck all of this. Yeah. I know we have to fix our um, boots 
for the inner tie rods yeah, for the we rack. Gotta, we, gotta, we have to we have to strap those in. Pause. They're out because we see them. It's off. We need them. Well, not off, but we're damn near done with wiring. Wiring hit. Wiring wasn't bad. Wiring wasn't bad. It was oh, our we gauges. We got two signals to run for oil temp and. I have temp. I have I have the actual um, harness right here. I have it right here for the oil pressure. Yeah. So we'll take care of that when the motor's out. We'll get our fitting on and we'll be golden. So Yeah, nah, I I think this is like the week that we just like bind up everything. Tighten everything. Cause this guy's not even that tight. You nah, know, like not, we have to go over the entire car. Not, I said we go over the whole car, get Work. our trains that we're gonna be using in there. Work. And I don't know, maybe maybe wrap up on this hot boy this week and try to go get aligned yeah we got to get aligned so we get an alignment and then see uh see when we can go to work work excuse me yeah i'm vlogging brother yeah um so yeah i mean we're we're like we're there home stretch home stretch hopefully those coilovers get here soon and um that's it We'll keep you guys posted. We'll see what else we can do. Terrible. Do you want to tell them what happened to you? Yeah, I'm gonna tell them what happened to me. Well, let's demonstrate. <laughs> Not demonstrate, but Trappy was routing this line here. I was on this line. My OCD kicked in, and it was over the fuel line, and I didn't like it. So I had to go over it, but I didn't want to loosen what we had just tightened. So I loosened our. Uh, fuel line that had uh, 30 pounds of pressure in and that's why I'm wearing a t-shirt and I smell like a pump he smells like corn E85 hey guys what I just did I don't really like doing that I apologize today's been crazy but <laughs> you know what it, you know what the problem is Gunners give me a second um the problem is that when we have that door open or when I'm here no one thinks that what we're doing is work me and Trap do not have a job. We don't have a boss. We have families to take care of. No one ever takes what we do in this garage seriously. That's why people just walk in here, they waltz in, and they think they can just ask or say whatever they want. Now again, I don't ever mean to come off as, as arrogant as an asshole, but if you're at work and people are just walking into your job, or if you're at your business, Let's just say you own a pizzeria. Let's say you own a garage, a mechanic shop. And people just keep walking in and assume that they can say, do whatever they got to do for, for whatever situation they're in. It kind of gets annoying, man. It's like all day we deal with people just walking in here and it, like, it's, I don't know, man. I just don't want to come off like I'm a, pe like what I just did now, just dubbing that dude. I'm literally in the middle of vlogging. Like, this is my life. This is my career. This is how me and Trappy feed our children, yeah, our families. Really like, this is our job, man. That's why we don't really let nobody in here. Like, we don't let nobody hang out. Can we go to your job and hang out and, and shoot the shits or whatever? But I didn't. I just didn't want you guys to think. Whatever. Well, a lot to clean up still. We're fairly done. Then cabrón, you out cabrón. Yeah, I try to hit that traffic. Tato cabrón. Que casi cabrón. Anyway, um, we're done for the day. Took care of that. I uh, got my front sway bar in again for my boy Willie. He's a gunner out in Florida. Held it down. Just ordered some bushing stuff. So it's going to be perfect when we um, drop the motor. We'll be able to take care of um, adding our sway bar and stuff. So... Kind of excited, kind of not, but I'll chop it up with you. Um, yeah, we're um, we're chipping away at this vehicle. We're doing a hell of a job. I think we are. I just spoke to my boy Eric Cuddle, and he said, "Man, solid progress." You know, asked him for some uh, camber and tow advice. Uh, held it down with that. So we'll see how it goes. Our main goal this week is to get the car to alignment, be able to drive the car onto the alignment machine. So that's the um, that's the goal. Tomorrow, we'll weld the exhaust, 
Double check everything and then drop the motor, take care of the sway bar stuff, put our trans in. We're just going to put a stock Z3 one in because we're still waiting for our one and a half way differential. But thank God to have a spare so we could just build another one. Um, but yeah, let me know how you guys enjoyed this content. Again, you can get, you can get all these parts at you know Hone Developments. You can get them at PCI. You can grab some of the stuff from Tri-State. Call them up. Bobby will take care of you. Ask for Bobby. Ask for MC Slick. Tell the people that try stay. Hey, listen, man, I'm a gunner. Take care of us. And they will. They always do. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Please smash that like button. If you uh, if you learned anything, please consider subscribing. So I love you guys, man. Catch you on the next one. Keep going.